Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another hashtag mini moo card Monday. Mini Moo Card Monday is an open collab that is hosted by my friend Lolly and I. And um, being an open collab, anyone and everyone is encouraged to uh, join in whenever you're able to. Uh, basically, it's pretty easy to join. All you have to do on a Monday, um, upload a video, either um, showing a Mini Moo Card that you want to create, or you can do a show and tell of Mini Moo Cards you had created. Uh, and all we ask is that you use the hashtag Mini Moo Card Monday in your title, along with linking both my channel and Lolly's channel in your description box below the video. That way everybody can kind of see what everybody else is doing. We use the hashtag to um, be able to search everybody that has um, uploaded a video uh, that, so that way we can see them too. So that is our open collab. So today, um, I I mean, as you can see, I haven't done a prototype. I just have my mini moo cards cut out. And uh, for those of you that uh, are not familiar, a mini moo card, it measures two and three fourths by one and a tenth this way. So I am going to start working on my Alice in Wonderland journal. Um, I don't know, several videos ago, I did a little haul video. I got the Stamperia Alice in Wonderland paper pad. And this is a smaller one. It's the 8x8. But um, I have I know that a while back, everybody was doing Alice in Wonderland. And I never got around to doing one. So this is my um, chance to make an Alice in Wonderland um, journal. So I thought it might be fun to do one. Um, or actually, I'm probably going to have to do three because two I keep and then one I'll put in the journal. Um, but I'm sure we'll probably just do one on camera because it, it's going to take me a while because I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I know this is my cutout page. Um, the only thing is that normally my mini moo cards go this way, but all of these, oh, actually... This one might fit. I saw the keys would fit too, but I already did one with keys, so I was kind of reluctant to do another one with keys. However, this fits, and I'm looking, this, you can't even see that probably, hold on. <laughs> this will probably fit too. Um, so there's at least two. And that might, f oh, some of these I think might fit. All right, so I actually, I want to do... I think I want to do this one first and then we can also cut out some of the little, you know, um, you know, what are these called? I don't know, like the, the suits for the cards. So I'm just going to take this off first and whoops. Well, because I was looking through, um, these are larger. However, I might maybe cut out I don't know, something like that. And all these other pages, like these are too big, but these are going to be the journaling cards. These are going to be the tags and journaling cards. This is a page, uh, journaling cards, a page, a page. I was thinking about something like this too, but I'm not sure. See, so there wasn't like so many different pages that I had options to pick from, but this is definitely one of them. So that's what I think I'm going to start with anyway. So let's go in a little bit more. And hopefully I will stay in frame. All right, so I want this clock. Um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, oh wait, see how it says it's always tea time? I might, I might do something with that. I don't know, but let's um let's cut out first. So. I'm just going to roughly cut this and then I'll actually, I really should pause the video. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me <laughs> cut this whole thing. Hold on. Let me pause it. I'll be right back. Okay. So I cut out the little clock and I did a little brainstorming off camera just so I'm not fumbling around. Um, I did find this red piece of cardstock that I think I'm actually going to um, put on the back, uh, you know, use as the front. And then kind of offset it with some of the 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 black instead of the red um, suit or I don't know what what to call them but these things. <laughs> um, and I also got some sentiments that I think I want to use. So uh, the first thing I think that I should do. Um, 
let me actually, I'm just going to put these here for a moment, is, and I'll put that there for a moment. I'm going to trace this, um, but I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller so that there is a little bit of a, a um, like a little border left. Uh, and then go from there. All right, so... Let me do that, and then let me do maybe like that. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, so you can, oh, no, you can't see. <laughs> Hold on, maybe I should move down a little bit. Uh, there we go. All right, so... You can see that there is a little bit of a border, which I like, because I was also, I had this. However, I'm not sure if I want to use this strip or not. It was, I was cutting down a page, and of course I saved that because I thought it'd be great to line something. But I don't know in this case if we're going to use it to line this. Um, so let me get, oh good. I'm just going to glue this down first. Oops, hold on, it came out really fast. Um, where is my pink finger? It's missing. Oh, where is my pink finger? Hmm. That's weird. Um, well, oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna I just, there was a big glob, so I just didn't want the huge glob sitting there. But let me just do a little bit more here and a little bit more there. All right, now I'm going to carefully try to put this on, hopefully somewhat centered. All right. Okay, so then oh you know what i'm thinking we should actually let me grab some thinking thinking that we probably should i hope i'm not too close i don't think so i just because this is such a little canvas to work with um i want it you know, to be as close as I can, so that way you can see. All right, I know that I want this right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little glue on the back of that. And I'm gonna put that down. And then we'll put that. It's so fun to work with such little um, pieces, but at the same time, it's a little hard, especially when you have like. It's funny because I feel like I don't. I don't feel like my fingers are huge, but I have so much trouble with all these little tiny pieces. And not only with like the mini moo cards, but like in general, if anything is like super super small, I feel like I'm all thumbs. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's upside down, but that's okay because I'm gonna cut it out anyway. And then. Oh, wait, I didn't ink and ink and ink. I mean, I guess I probably could have uh, stopped this too, but I was kind of on a roll and I just didn't stop. All right. So. Also, though, sometimes being so close, um, I tend to go out of frame because I forget that, you know, we're on this little, little space on my desk. Okay, so let's just let that dry for a second. 
Um, actually, the bottom one's probably better, so I should probably cut as I talk. I'm going to, and there's no, like, I'm not measuring, and I like kind of a messy cut. Like, I don't really measure it. The only thing I do measure is, um, like, when I actually put it down the paper, I want to make sure that it's not, the, the piece is not too big. All right, that's trash. <sighs> oh, wait, hold on. I don't need this either. And then I have, I re-ink the little pieces too, just to, you know, get the most grunginess out of everything. Because, you know, I like everything very grungy. Oh my gosh, here we go with these little tiny pieces. <laughs> like, they just shoot out of my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I should just go like that. Okay. That one's done. Or if I go really close to my desk, that way it will hit my my chest instead of <laughs> going down on the floor like it just did. Luckily, I saw it right away. Because sometimes, especially with things that are so small, when you drop them on the floor or they go flying, um, it's just like, oh, good luck. I'm trying to find that again. Because that's, that's happened to me before. Oh, no, that's... Okay. So, let's do this. And this, and when I cut, I'm just, you know, like randomly cutting. I don't, like I said, I really don't measure. And I just hope for the best. Okay. And what I'm going to do after I finish inking everything, I'm going to kind of set it up and just see how everything fits um, before I glue anything down. And kind of like where I want it to be placed and stuff but the nice thing about like when I put words and stuff on it I don't ever line anything up I just kind of put it down and just kind of go with it all right so I know that we have this um and see it's a little that's all right so something good is about to happen over a cup of tea. So these were Tim Holtz. Um, oops, hold on. These were uh, the Tim Holtz little words, you know, that I always get out of my little book. But I saw this over a cup of tea. So, you know, Alice in Wonderland, a cup of teas and stuff. I, I um, chose that. And then I thought, well, I need more. And then, I, you know, something good is about to happen over a cup of tea. It kind of made sense to me. All right. So um, I'm going to start at the bottom. Let's try that and kind of build up from there. So this can be like at the very bottom. Oops. Well, and I'm not gonna worry about the glue because it will dry clear. Because on little things I tend to over glue just because, you know, it's so small. All right, oops. I do have tweezers. I really should be using tweezers on this, but. All right, I want to put the clock on last, I think. Because if it has to like overlap something, I th or I should, mm, hold I think I should put it on first because that way the words can overlap the clock. All right, so we'll put that there. All right, I'm gonna put the, yeah, I am gonna put the clock. All right. And I'm going to actually put the clock kind of like that. Kind of like skewed, is that the word I'm looking for? So it's not really in the middle, but just kind of there. All right, so something good. And then we'll put this is about oh 
Uh, that wasn't great. Lost some of the glue, but I think I'll just put a little bit more on just in case. Um, is about. Oh, perfect. That is perfect. All right, so we have. And see how the glue is already drying? You can't even see it. There we go. So we have something good is about to happen over a cup of tea. Perfect. And actually, I don't think even the little suit faces would have fit on here at all anyway. Oh, all right. Yeah, because, I mean, there's that little spot, but I think these are too big. Um, let's just see real quick. I wish I had a smaller version of Alice that I could have done one of these with. That would have been really neat. Um, but we didn't. That's okay. We will make do with what we have. I'm just going to kind of roughly cut it out just for now, just to see if we can work with this at all and if we can then i will do a better job so i was thinking like right there but I, I don't know is that too much i'm not really sure if i like that yeah i'm not really feeling that no i'm not feeling that i kind of like it just plain like it is and it's funny because um, my recent um, mood cards have been kind of, you know, very elaborate. This is very simple, but I really like the way it came out. So, yeah. All right. I like that. I'm going to pause real quick and I'm going to see if I can fit anything else onto a mini mood card. And I'll be right back. Okay. So I have an idea. <laughs> I cut her out and she is just a tad bit wide, like literally, but who, you know, who cares? What if it is a little, her dress sticks out a little bit. I'm not even worried about that at all. So I'm so glad I went back and I looked again. So I'm going to use her. And then I was thinking I'm going to use the strip as well. Then my, you know, I saw the hearts and when I was looking for some paper, I found these and these are little hearts. So I'm thinking maybe put some hearts on there as well. Um, but I'm also going to do something a little different. I am going to put on a black background, but I also have red. So, all right, let me just, as I'm talking, I'm just going to do, I'm inking the edges with a red. And then I am going to um, do the black. It's not even black. It's like dark, but but so you can see, you know what I mean, the, the red around. So just like we did the other one, I am going to cut it just a little bit um, smaller so we can see the, uh, the red. All right, so hold on one second. Let me just cut this. And where's the other line? Right there. So I'm thinking like, oh, where's the line? Um, let's see how this looks. Okay, sorry, I was off camera cutting, but I was really just cutting this down. So if we put this on here, see how we still see the red around it? However, I do want to get a little bit more red around there. Just so it's like nice and uh, dark dark red <laughs> but it's like really noticeable that's what I want all right so um you know what I feel like I'm should be down a little bit okay so we have like that now the thing is if I do this hmm all right, let me hold off on this because I'm just getting a little brainstorm. And we put her here, and then we use these hearts around. I think I like that better. I don't think we need this little border. All right. Um, 
I'm gonna put a heart here, and maybe two hearts here. Oh, I think I like that. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I don't know if this would take any ink. I'm just gonna, you can sort of see it. So, you know, might as well. Might as well just ink away, right? All right, so let us put on some glue and uh, let's see. All right, perfect. Now I want to have her. All right, so actually I should line it up this way and our head will be, yep, right at the top. All right, so get some glue onto her. Okay, oh wait, I'm supposed to do her upside down that way. What I should really do. Where's my little willy poly thing? There we go. All right. So, so you see how it sticks out just a little bit, but that's okay. I'm completely fine with that. All right. Now, let's see if these will take some ink on them. Oh, they do. Okay. And they take the red. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to put this. Oh, I just pulled off. Okay. And let's see if I can get a little bit. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have a red Sharpie somewhere. I'll look after. Let's get these glued down first. So I'm just going to put a little glue because the back is sticky anyway, but, you know, it's always good to glue just in case. So put the first one, oopsies, like that. And then let's just put one on the top there. All right, hold on. So this one, <laughs> oh, really? oh my gosh, let me try my tweezers because this is like, okay, um, I'm going to put it right like that, perfect, and then I want one Maybe on the front right there? Or is that too much? I don't know. Because we have like one, two, and it almost like it should be here, but... What if we did it all on one side? Let me just see what it looks like first. And then we'll decide. So I'll just take that off. And if we had it, you know what? Let's just do it. And it'll be all on one side. Oopsies. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want it there. Okay, right there. There we go. Now they're all on one side. I don't know. What do you think? I think I like it better that they're all on one side. And then I almost want something there. I wonder if they have the word or the name Alice. Hold on. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to look for Alice in here. OMG, guys. Look. 
they had the name Alice. So off camera, I mean, you've seen me do it a million times. I just mounted it on um, some of my file folder just to give it a little pop. Um, I inked around the edges with the red just to stay within the inked theme. Um, I was going to do it in the, you know, the brown, but then I thought everything else is inked in red. So I'm going to ink this in red too. Um, I'm going to try to find some red, a red marker. I thought I had one, but maybe not to kind of darken those a little bit. But overall, I think that came out really, really cute. Um, let me just, oh no. Okay, there we go. Let me get both of them here because they're so very different. One really pops and one is nice and basic, but it just kind of like they all go together. And of course, I'll make another one off camera just because I want a third if I'm going to use one of these in the journal. Um, but I had lots of fun making these. Again, I was kind of impressed because I didn't have any um, prototype to go off of. I was just kind of winging it. I knew what I wanted the theme to be, but um, I'm really happy the way they came out. And I hope you guys, um, you know, got inspired to do some mini moo cards as well. Or I hope you liked, you know, my little layouts. So this is the Alice in Wonderland themed mini moo cards for this hashtag mini moo card Monday. So that is all for today. Guys, as always, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see them. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Lolly's channel to see what she did for her Mini Moo Card Monday. And um, also search the hashtag Mini Moo Card Monday um, on YouTube. And everybody that has uploaded a video, they will all come up so you can get different ideas and watch different crafters craft on Monday. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.